our challenges remains very hard. The geopolitical risk remains high. And financial institutions in the United States and Europe have collapsed. In this situation, we have no other option but to strengthen collaboration to ensure that ASEAN remains the epicentrum of growth and the economic potential of our region is enormous. Economic growth that is almost always higher than the global average. Demographic bonus and the number of middle class that continues to rise, reaching 65% in 2030. Let us work together even closer to develop a shared agenda to ensure that this region remains the epicentrum of growth. Well, what we gathered was that uh, our ASEAN Business Advisory Council is quite active, particularly under the chairmanship of uh, Arshad Rashid of uh, Indonesia. And he has, uh, in fact, been traveling from country to country. I met him and he visited the Philippines. Okay, And uh, in his presentation, he again highlighted the issues that uh, the ASEAN BAC would like to address to further uh, help integrate and push the growth of the ASEAN region. Okay. We will be doing the frameworks, the enabling environment, but somebody has to put into reality to implement this idea. So we need the private sector. And if it's a regional project, we need the ASEAN BAC. Of course, there is a ASEAN BAC Philippines, you know, led by uh, Joey Concepcion. I'm also working closely with him, and we're able to achieve a lot of things. You know. For, no, especially for MSMEs.